This is a normal fish and that's a plane. The only thing is that fish is attempting to fly a plane all by itself. Fish aren't very smart animals. Like this is the size of their brain, which is probably why no one's ever tried this before. So is it even possible to teach a fish to fly? This was probably one of the hardest projects I've done so far, requiring weeks of building, experimenting, illegally trespassing to steal other people's property before we even managed to get it off the ground. All of that is to say this was going to be no easy task. I've split this project up into five easy tasks. And the first one is get a fish. Luckily, this one was pretty easy, so let me introduce you to Damo. Uh, I mean Damien. He's a great guy. I've had him since about half an hour ago when I stole him from this pond. Gotcha. Task one complete. Now I just have to get a plane. But first, why am I doing this? Well, when I was a kid, I felt sorry for fish because they would never be able to experience anything outside of the ocean. So I dreamt up inventions that would let fish experience other places like the land or the sky. And so now that I'm older and have more time and less skills, I wanted to make it real. And the first step in making that happen was get a plane. Now, normally finding a full-size aeroplane would be pretty difficult. But luckily, I think I know just where to find one. I've just got a question. Yeah. Um, I've heard that Qantas has got some airplanes that um, no one was using at the moment. And I was just wondering if I could just borrow, like, take one of the planes off your hands, just borrow one. Uh, um, okay. For so borrowing for planes, I'm not sure which department will handle these queries. Um, I'm just going to need to clarify this and I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And since they sounded like they couldn't really help, we're just going to have to resort to option two. Build a plane. <laughs> it works. Well, I, I mean, that part works. Um, I just followed a tutorial. I don't really know what I'm doing whatsoever. But I mean, hopefully it flies. It was probably at this point I should have realized something was wrong. I had just given this plane full throttle and a running start, and yet it didn't seem to take off. Of course, I realized this and was smart. Uh, no, no, I, I just did it again. Sick. That didn't stop me though, because the next morning I went straight back out to try it again. And amazingly, you can actually see the exact moment my last two brain cells put two and two together. Oh, the propeller's spinning the wrong way. A small mistake on my part, but nothing a quick fix couldn't propellerly solve. Now, the plane went off screen here, so I'll just show you what happened. How is it doing? Oh my god, it's a loop. What is going on? Oh, oh, oh wow. my god, the plane's upside down. He's so He's skilled. So, well. so smooth. Amazing landing. The nose is a bit bashed up, but like, that didn't break. This just cut through the wing a bit. But I mean, all in all, I'd call that a success. I reckon task two, or is it three? But task complete. Very good. Now this is the hard part. Since the plane can't hold enough weight for Damo to fly in there himself, my first plan was to live stream video from the plane to the fish tank, where Damo could just swim towards wherever he wants to go. But I think that would be a little too complex for his little smooth brain to understand. So instead, we'll just try and get Damo to keep the plane flying roughly level. Which means my new plan is to put a light on either side of the fish tank. And then when the plane rolls to one side, we turn the light on the other side of the fish tank on. Now all we have to do is get Damo to swim towards the light. And that's easy. Right? Right? Oh yeah, but how do you know which side the plane's gonna roll, mate? Like you're gonna use a gyro center or something? Like maybe something that's already designed for RC planes, like a flight controller? What are we thinking here, mate? Oh fuck me, you just ate a rock. Great question, Damo. Now, I could. But I was thinking something a little more like... 
Get an old phone that's still connected to the internet and have it send its driver information to a web server that's running on my computer at home, which can then send that information to a Google Pub server. From there, my laptop will send the data out to an Arduino, which is also on the field, which will switch these lights on or off depending if the gamma value of my old phone are positive or negative. And with everything set up, the only thing left to do was tilt my phone. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Tilt it to the left, right one turns on, right. Left one turns on. Which meant now I had the exceptionally simple task of teaching Damo to swim towards the light. Come over this side. Come on. It's gonna take a while. The light is on this side. All right, let's just come back to this. Next, I had to build a fish computer interface, but luckily it wasn't too hard as I already had one sitting around in my shed. Now this works by taking a photo of the empty tank and then when we track Damo back in, we take another photo and subtract that new photo from the empty tank photo. And then wherever the image is different, that's where he is. Now we just slap on some post-processing to remove the noise and make sure the whole camera hasn't moved. And then lastly, we just look if he's in the left third or the right third of the tank. And then we send that information all the way along Ooh, to this servo, which will move this stick left or right which will cause the whole plane to turn left or- Hold up, hold up. Since Damo's orange, couldn't you have just looked for orange pixels in the image instead? Yeah. So wouldn't that have been easier? Yeah. So why I didn't- Shut up, Bolo. Look, it's already been done like that and this project is already kind of similar, so we got to do something original, okay? <laughs> okay, so now that the script's running, we should see this stick move to the left or the right based on where, where Damo is. So if he moved to the left, goes to the left, right, it's back to the right. Oh, that is so cool, it actually works. Goes to the left, now it's back to the right, because he's back to the right. I'm actually surprised that worked. I'm going to be honest, it didn't work for the past, like... All right, well, let's just not worry about that. It works now, okay? Confident in my success, task four was complete. Now all I had to do was go back and revisit task three. Okay, so it's been about a week, and Damo's... He's, I mean, kind of doing it. I think the thing is, he's just not the sharpest fish in the shed. A few bricks short of a full load. Thick as a stump. Dumb as a bag of hammers. Not the brightest bulb in the chandelier. Who says this? Like what? But he does swim towards the light every half of the time. So I think we can just call it task three complete. And now that all but the last task was complete, the only thing I had left to do was put it all together and see if it worked. <laughs> All I should have to do is press play on that. Both the scripts should run. Fish is in the tank. The transmitter's ready. I'll probably, I'll send the plane up by itself first with me controlling it, and then I'll switch the fish on. Set everything up and um, I guess there's nothing left to do. Now when I launched the plane there, I released it at too high of an angle, so it didn't have enough lift to keep flying, which is why it crashed. So I tried it again. And this time was a little better, but it felt like the plane didn't have enough power, which was weird because I had it at full throttle. So I tried having my friend throw it to see if that made a difference. Now at this point, the plane really just didn't want to fly, but hoping for one last chance to get it high enough that we could let Damo control it, I decided to give it a couple more goes. But to no success, which is surprising because I had actually flown it a couple times off camera and it had worked just fine. But after all the hard landings, the plane had started to come apart. In fact, by the end, the whole tail section was loose, which definitely didn't help how easy it was to fly. And after multiple hours of trying to get it to work, I eventually had to say, might have to be task failed, unfortunately. I don't think I might be able to repair this, but it would take a lot. Since to get it working properly again, I would probably have to rebuild the whole plane from scratch. And to be honest, this is kind of disappointing. I was hoping for it all to come together, or at the very least go up in flames. Either way, if you want me to give this another go, let me know in the comments, and I might try it again.